don't cry. You are the baddest in this room. You cannot. No. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell from the title, I'll be bringing you guys a story time. And we're just going to get right into it. So every year, me and my girls for Memorial Weekend, and we go to Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have a time of our lives. Like, every year. Last year was kind of dry, but... It was Mother Nature's fall. It was freezing out there. So this particular year, not last year, um, everything was going great. The links were great. And there was like no down moment except for one. But <clears throat> that's a whole nother story time in itself. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. I think I'm coming along with a cold. So this particular day, pool parties all day. We're actually tapped out. Midday comes and my homegirl Tatiana, she hits me and she goes, we're in the same room. She's like, hey girl, like, Migos friend said like to pull up on them and they're gonna have like a table and they're gonna be performing, whatever. Something cute, it, was a, it sounded like a cute situation. So I'm like, all right, definitely we're down. So we start to get ourselves together, you know, playing music, and, you know, set up the vibe for ourselves and our expectations are like high. Not like we're gonna talk to one another, but more so like we're gonna have fun tonight. So <clears throat> we start to get ready, we head out. The dude tells us to meet him at the side of the club. So that's a thumbs up because if they can tell you to meet you in the front, you're gonna be out there all day. It's just ridiculous. So we get there and the process was easy to get in. I hate having to wait outside the club after the person says it. It's just ridiculous. Get in easily. As soon as we walk in, we go up these stairs to get into the club. And we walk in. I was like, oh my god, there's so much people in this section. Like I I was expecting a chair or something to sit on. Like mm. so we get there and the guy, Migos friend, whatever, we'll call him Gerald. <laughs> he was like, girls, you guys are good. I think it was Four of us total. So he had us like in a cute little section next to the Migos. Like, Migos is here, we're here. Now the Migos go on to perform. The stage is actually attached to the section, but it's like slightly section off. Like, you gotta go down three steps. They go on to perform, and we're having a good time. I go and stand where the Migos were standing, and me and my friends stand there too because who, who doesn't like to be elevated in the club? It's just I don't know what it is, it just feels better to be on top of something. Literally, it can be a dead body on the floor and I'm going to step on it <laughs> to feel taller in the club. I don't know. But, um, we're all enjoying ourselves and everything is going great. My friend stepped down from that little area to, like, I guess, dance and be able to move comfortably. And Tiana and Iman comes in. And they're real chill, you know, they give like an openly like smile to everyone. Lori Harvey at the time. I didn't know who she was, but they were together. And I was like, oh, this girl's really cute, whatever. And we're all just having a good time. I think another guy that was with Tiana, don't know his name. He was probably like four feet tall. He came and tapped me like, um, I need you to come down. I'm like, for what, sir? Why do you need me to come down out of all people? Like, and he, sh he didn't really say anything, but obviously that's not my section. I, I don't know. I didn't want to get yelled at by the per. I don't know. So I was like, you know what? That was one embarrassment of the night. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I just stepped down and I just like brushed it off. So now 20 minutes go by, whatever. The Migos come back. And they're again, not, they're not really us like saying anything to us. They're just like smoking and doing what they're doing and just like nodding their heads, vibing out. And we're doing our own thing. Then it hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be vlogging my experience in Vegas this year. So I pulled out my camera and I'm like, you know, being around celebrities, you have to be mindful when you're putting on their cameras because. You never know what they want people to know about them or whatever the case may be. So I seen other people had their phones out, like other people like that was in their section. So I was like, oh shoot, 
你嘅電話號碼係咪好啦？就即刻冇講 ，and <coughs> this is the setup. Quavo offset take off, or it was take off offset Quavo. Whatever it was, offset was behind me, out in front of him, whatever. And <coughs> I'm doing my little vlogging thing. You know, doing my thing, whatever. I bring the camera up, bring it down, show you know, you guys the angles, and. I get to this point and I do it once or twice, whatever, and it's cool, whatever. I go back around. I'm just like really dancing, enjoying myself. And then I come back around to him and I do it again. And he literally like grabs my phone and I felt like his grip was so strong and my hand just kind of got weak and I'm just like, Ugh, like, what are you doing? And he just started dropping a bunch of F-bombs calling me a B word and it all happened so quick and I was just so like I just felt like I turned into an ant. Just like oh my gosh like this is not happening right now. Like I felt like everybody was staring at me but nobody like was like laughing or anything. It was just more so like a oh but of course during the moment I didn't see it I thought it was like oh my gosh like Oh my gosh, like I gotta get out of here, like I'm about to cry <clears throat> or whatever. So <clears throat> he hands his phone to like his assistant, whatever. One of the guys with the small legal chains, I guess the people in his crew all have that chain. And he goes to delete the video that he thought I was recording of him. But in all actuality, I thought I was recording myself, but I never pressed the start button. So when he grabbed my phone to, I guess, um, stop me from recording him, he actually started the video and he caught himself like looking at the camera like this and like he handed it over to his friend. So his friend went and deleted the video, but you know, iPhone got my back. Later on that night, I looked and it was in the, it was in the, the deleted folder and my friends were like, Oh, you should DM him and um, send him the video like, ha, ha, ha. Like, <laughs> you thought she deleted the video and didn't, but I don't know. At the time, I was, like, really mad at him. <laughs> Who cares? Like, <laughs> so I was just like, oh, no, I'm not going to send it to him, whatever. But time has passed. I'm not mad no more. I can laugh about the situation, but I was really embarrassed. Um, and at the time, I believe Cardi was pregnant. And mind you, we're all listening to Cardi. Like, Cardi's my girl. We all listen to her music and just sing all her songs words word for word and he did that bird thing but whatever um this all transpired within like 60 seconds like him grabbing the phone him calling me names and cursing out um him giving his phone to this his person and then the guy what was my name again jared whatever the guy that invited us out he was just, he just told Offset, like, yo, bro, she good, like, they good, they with me, like, they not on that goofy shit. So, um, they handed me back my phone, and everything kind of went back to normal, but I had to, like, really gather up my tears, and I was just like, oh, my gosh, like, don't cry. You are the baddest in this room. You cannot, no. <laughs> just holding my composure. And I was like, so much thoughts were going through my head. I was like, okay, do I make a scene and tell my friends like we gotta go? Do I end up crying and make people feel bad for me? Or what if he doesn't even care? So I was just like, no, you just gotta be the baddest. Like nothing ever happened, brush it off. And that's what I did. And we probably stayed there for like an extra hour. And then the party wasn't done, but like once the celeb leaves, everybody in the section leaves. So um, Tatiana's friend was like, oh yeah, just follow us, whatever. So, <clears throat> it's a crowd, like, maybe a 50. And I'm like, I'm not about to just follow somebody. Like, what is, what are we following them to? Not to, not to say that they're going to bring us somewhere dangerous, but it is like, it's easy to get lost. And we're nobody's child. So, it's like, if we do get lost, nobody's going to be like, oh my gosh, what are you looking for them? So, I was like, no, I need to know, like, where we're going or, like, what's going on, whatever. But that happened 
I literally asked that question for like two seconds and then we still just ended up following. So he kind of like made sure we were good and we got into like a sprinter, not with them as far as like the Migos, but with him and like a few other girls. And um, we went to some hotel and this hotel, I don't know the name, I, I don't know, but this hotel within it had like a suite. I don't know what you're going to call this, but the suite had about five suites within it. So the Migos, I'm sure, each had their own room and then their like assistant or whoever came with them had their own rooms. The place was massive within a hotel, so it was just like, I've never seen nothing like that before. So we get in the room now and it's probably like my friends, is four and maybe 30 other females in there, like shapey females, like Spanish girls. But I realized that these celebrities, as far as guys, they get a lot a lot of foreign girls. We were probably like the only black girls with like a slim body. In their eyes, probably basic. I don't know, but it was only like those type of girls there. Very curvy and just about that life to do all the extra activities that they be doing. But um, we got in there and the assistant, the I don't know what they call them, I guess they're roll dogs or whatever. The guys with the small chains that says Migos or whatever. They're like, oh, you guys can use this bathroom right here, blah, blah, blah. And the line is probably like 10 girls in there. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until the line gets shorter and I'm gonna go. So I'm sitting in a little cute area with my friends. It's like a couch and stuff. The hotel is really nice. And we're just discussing about, <laughs> we're discussing what happened at the hotel. And they're like, we're all laughing about it. But meanwhile, like, I'm still kind of like, who's, who's the guy? Like, but also, we don't want to be seen. we found. Um, so I looked over, I gla maybe 10 minutes past, I glanced over to the line, the bathroom line. I'm like, damn, it's still a line. So then me being mischievous, I seen another door that was slightly open. This living area that we were in was massive too so it was like several couches a piano just really nice setup so and there's like an upstairs and then the main floor whatever and a bunch of doors but this one door was open all the other doors were closed so I looked over and I was like you guys think I should go see if there's a bathroom in there and they were just like go ahead like whatever at this point everybody just kind of like roaming around taking pictures but of course I wasn't comfortable anymore taking pictures because my phone got snatched for me earlier so I walked over to the room and as soon as I walked in I see jewelry I see um, not a lot of money but a few dollars or whatever obviously I'm not interested in none of that but this is just what I'm seeing and I go use the bathroom I squat I twinkled on the toilet a little bit took my napkin, wiped it up, um, I flushed, I went to the sink, washed my hands, at this moment I'm feeling really nice, so you know, I'm just like, admiring myself in the mirror, like, damn girl, you look damn good, like, you did your thing, like, this makeup, you've been having it on for like, what, two and a half, three hours, I don't know, but it looks really good. So as I'm like admiring myself in the mirror, all I hear is F-bombs, <laughs> B-bombs, like this guy is just like dragging my name through the dirt. Like I felt like my mouth was open and they took my head and I like scraped it through the grate, <laughs> through, through the floor or whatever in some dirt. And I'm just like, I just turn around like, and I kind of like air dry my hands. He's like, what the hell are you doing in, in here? Like, obviously, he said a lot of more curses. And I was just like, he's like, you see how much money is in here? You see how much jewelry is in here? And mind you, this is not none of the Migos. This is literally like this short guy. He has a square head, bulldog looking person. He's not ugly, he just looks like a bulldog. And I was looking at him like, don't nobody want what you got going on in here. Like, what? Get out of here. But the way he was talking to me is how, like, I don't know if you guys ever seen a dog or owned a dog and you yell at the dog and the dog is just like 
you know, skipping out, whatever. That's how I felt walking out the room because he was just like doing the most without really doing the most because he didn't ever put his hands on me or like do any motion like he was going to hit me or anything. But the way he was talking, I felt like a slap was coming behind. <laughs> but that was strike three. And I was like, you know what? It's time for me to get out of here because this is too much. So finally I get out and I tell my friends what happened and they're just like cracking up. I'm like, this is not funny. Like, this is why I do not like to be around celebrities because they just feel like they can talk to people however they feel and that is not right. So, whatever. They're like, yo, don't even trip, blah, blah, blah. So we're there, you know, enjoying the music. Quavo, I think, playing the piano. And take off. He was out. He was out in the atmosphere for a little bit, but then I guess he went to his room. Um, Offset was like on the balcony, on the phone, going back and forth. Um, and besides that, like their team or whatever was kind of the ones that was trying to entertain us. And it was like this dusty little light skin girl. She had like a bag of candy, trying to offer everybody candy, trying to offer everybody stuff. I'm just like, I'm good. But. Basically, they were just trying to have a good time and set the mood, but at that point, it's just like, even if I was down to do stuff like that, they ruined it for me because they just, yeah, like, I'm not the, I'm not the type, I'm not the one. Treat them like that, not like, not done being my friends with the other girls. But yeah, um, time passes, maybe 20 minutes, Quavo walks over to us and he's like, guys sisters and I was like you want us to be <laughs> and he kind of was like uh huh like I don't know the conversation was very brief it wasn't really long and like he walks away then I'm just like yeah guys it's about to be 4 30 5 <laughs> like I got a flight to catch I'm always the first one out the group to leave and I hate it because I'll be trying to like extended weekend trips without calling out from work for more than three days but yeah not doing that this year I have time I have the sick time like we we don't I'm gonna be on trips alone I'm not gonna be the friend to leave first but more of the story is celebrities suck sometimes but I do have a few more stories on like how I met certain people um I never slept with a celebrity before and if you're looking for that so and I'm not looking for that because I'm nobody such it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. And I hope you guys got to the end of this. Um, Finally done with this story time. I recorded this too many times and my camera kept on dying. Hey guys, welcome to my travel vlog. So, um, I didn't want to vlog Vegas because I feel like it just be so lit that you can't really catch the moments and it's going to be a mess. Our vlogs are always a mess and all those, always all over the place, but you know what? We're going to make the best of it. It's Action. Hey y'all. So, uh, I'm going to continue to vlog for a little bit. It's not going to be as explicit because I'm out here having fun. I don't have time. And um, <laughs> so right now we're heading to the, the Mandalay to go to a pool party. And I'll, you know, insert a few clips, 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 what clips, clips of us having fun and doing our thing. How you guys feeling today? Right on. Fine. Woo -hoo. Really? It's very good. Yeah. I just want to wear eyelash extensions. I feel like Tweety Bird. Thank <laughs> you.